Hello, this is Crystal Racing with the 2022 Miami Grand Prix Crystal Score Review. And of course, the first time we've ever come, Formula 1 has ever come to Florida for a Formula 1 race. Not the most impressive racetrack, I've got to say, and the marina was, well, it was fake. It was plastic. And of course, um, but what was not fake or plastic was the fact that Max Verstappen won the race. Um, struggled the car in quali um, during practice, only got a few laps in, but did a magnificent job qualifying in third place. And then, of course, made and overtook Charles Leclerc to win the race. And of course, it, despite the late race pressure, he held on for the win. It's 9.5 out of 10 for me. Once again, Max Verstappen is, is going to really make the club work if for this world title, it, depending, of course, if. Leclerc does win the title, but it has to be said, you know, Sean Leclerc, 9 out of 10, he'll be disappointed to lose, but the fact of the matter is, Max Verstappen is just a master on some days. Carlos Sides, 8 out of 10, um, lost out to Max early on, and frankly, you know, had to spend the rest of the race holding Perez off, and, you know, Perez himself gets 8 out of 10, they're both number 2s at the team at this point. There's no, other, there's no other way of saying it. Fifth place, George Russell, 9 out of 10. My personal driver of the day. Started 12th. Um, struggled early on in the hard tyres. But then once he switched on to mediums, he was flying. And he overtook Hamilton after the safety car. Lewis Hamilton, 8 out of 10. Decent performance. But of course, everyone will... Of course, um, there's a lot of his fans angry at the strategy he was given. And the fact he got overtaken by Russell... 7th place, Valtteri Bottas, 7.5 out of 10. Made a mistake late on. Lost those two positions, hence why he's only getting 7.5 out of 10. Because without that, he would have got 9 out of 10. He was looking good for 5th place. But nevertheless, though, Alfa Romeo was sitting in 5th place. Thanks to Bottas's great performances. I think he's now scored 30 points for the season. Add that to the fact that Drew scored a point at Bahrain. 8th place, Esteban Ocon, 8.5 out, out of 10. Um, poor qualifying, but got in front of Alonso after the safety call, so that's a good job. Alonso, 8 out of 10. Decent race, very decent. Then, of course, 10th place, Alex Alburn, 9 out of 10. Good job by um, the tie driver. And, of course... Um, he kept his nose clean. He profited from, of course, for the drivers getting involved in incidents. And, of course, it's yet another point for Alba. But despite that, it's only Williams' second point of the season. And he remained bottom of the table. Despite the fact that I think they've got a better card of what Aston Martin have got. Um, Stroll, first of the non-point scorers. 7 out of 10. Weaved a lot of the straights. Am I being generous? To be honest, I am actually being generous, to be honest. To be honest, it was only really 6 out of 10. I don't know why I'm giving him 7, to be honest. I think I'm only... To be honest, he's only, he only finished 11th because, of course, Ricardo got the time penalty. Um, other than that, it was just an average performance, and he only got to 11th because of all of everyone else's problems. 12th, Sonoda. Oh, this is tricky. Did he show a lot of pace? Not really. And I have to say it's probably 5.5 out of 10. Gasly was so much quicker this weekend. And once again, you know, these inconsistent performances from Sonoda really need to clean up. But of course, Sonoda, as we all know, is the type of driver who needs time to adapt and learn new tracks. And I don't think he got to grips with his circuit because it, it was pretty dirty and lacking grip offline. 13th, Daniel Ricciardo, 5 out of 10. 14th, Nicholas Latifi, 6 out of 10. Mick Schumacher, 6.5 out of 10. Um, oh no, I've made a mistake. Where's Magnussen's name? Oh yeah, uh, Magnussen was of course 16th, I think. Um, 6 out of 10, I mean... Latifi, anonymous race as always. Ricardo was horribly slow. 5 out of 10. And of course, yeah, he finished 11th. But 
you know, we got time penalty for gaining advantage of the track. I mean, even without the time penalty, he still would have finished outside the points. That's not good enough for for someone who is a McLaren driver, who, of course, McLaren was sitting in fourth place, mostly thanks to Norris's performance. But Ricardo, honestly, man, he's really on the wrong track now, isn't he? He just doesn't look... I know he was unlucky in qualifying, getting knocked out and qualified down in, Q in P14, but, you know, to struggle so much in a race, it's just so alarming. You know, it's now his second year in the team, new regs, 15th. Uh, of course, Mick Schumacher could have scored points if it wasn't for his collision with Vettel. Of course, uh, Vettel closed the door, if we're going to be honest. Kind of stupid. Um... Magnussen 6 out of 10 just strolled so much all weekend getting into strips and barges I got given a black and white flag for weaving on the straight um, as for the retirees Vettel 6 out of 10 looked like he could score a point until his collision with um, Mick 7 out of 10 for Gasly who looked like he was going to score a point but got nudged of course got into that collision with Alonso Maybe could have left a bit more room. Possibly could have let Alonso through a bit more cleanly. But of course, Gasly didn't quite leave enough room. And of course, got shoved off the track. And then of course, he got overtaken by, I think, what was it? Stroll, I think. I can't remember. Or Sonoda, was it? I can't remember. But then, of course, he went off the track again. And then, without realising, Norris came across him. And they both collided. Norris was in the wall. 7 out of 10 for Norris. To be honest, McLaren really was struggling with their car this weekend. There's not much else to say. Really unlucky. I don't know what else to give Norris. And then, of course, Ganyu Joe. Or Joe Ganyu, I beg your pardon. 5 out of 10. Uh, yeah, he was unlucky to miss the cutting uh, Q1. But fact is though he should have been a bit quicker you know first time he got knocked Q in Q1 so far in his F1 career but fact is Bottas could have potentially had fifth place if Bottas hadn't gone off the track and of course Bottas was also did qualify fifth so ultimately um yeah there's not much else to say if you enjoyed that video please like subscribe to this channel and I'll see you again next time.